Hey guys, welcome to another editing vlog, uh, editing, writing, vlog, whatever these things are now. Um, <clears throat> it's about 11.30. I got a little bit of a late start today. And my goals today are kind of different than they normally are. Right now, I'm in the transition period between finishing up the note-taking part of my editing and starting going and fixing the stuff on the computer, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet just because it's a crazy week. So I think I'm going to start that this weekend and really kick it off full steam. I know that the next two or three weeks are going to slog through because it's harder to do the beginning than it is the end. In the end, I have barely any notes. So that's a good thing. Maybe, maybe there are things wrong that I'm not catching, but for right now, it's a good thing. But that means that the beginning is really rough. I need to do a lot of rewriting and things like that, which you guys will see as I go through that process. But today, what I want to do is do some pages for a story binder. I really want to start one. I think it would be something really helpful for me, especially in the college atmosphere to have all of my stuff in one place so I don't misplace it or forget it and I know that I can grab that binder and my laptop and I have everything I need for Valor. So I want to start kind of brainstorming things like that and writing out some pages for that. I think my goal today will be to do a page. I really want to try out how I would pitch Valor to other people. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice there. Like how I would explain it, what I would compare it to, you know, when people say, oh, it's Indiana Jones meets Star Wars. I don't know. Maybe that's a really weird example. I've never seen Star Wars. Yeah, I, I've never done it for Valor because I can never think of them. So I think I'm going to set aside some time today to brainstorm that and do some of those things. And then I also want to sit down and do a brainstorming kind of just like jotting down notes, sort of like a character sheet, but not as official as that. Just preliminary notes for each of my main characters. And if I do that today... I think it will be a successful day. But right now I'm going to go film another video for you guys and you'll see that video before this one. It's my monthly goals. I think I'm gonna start doing those just so I can keep you guys updated with the random little things that I generally mention in these videos. You can watch another video where they're all in one place and not spread out through a 20 minute writing vlog. So I'm gonna go film that and then I will update you guys on what I'm gonna do next. All right guys, I finished filming the video for you guys. It's gonna go up on Wednesday. Um, I need to edit that today and post it, but I think, there's so many noises here. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and clean up my room because it's kind of discombobulated. So I think I'm going to clean up my room, edit that video, post that video, and then I'm going to set aside some time to start doing some of these different story idea binder things that I want to do. So I'll update you guys after I start the binder stuff and tell you how it's going and what I'm kind of writing down for each character because I'm sure it's going to be different for each of them just because I'm gonna let myself like word vomit whatever comes to mind when I think about that character and things that I should remember and know about that character. I'm just gonna fill up a page with random stuff. I don't even know if it's gonna be bullet pointed or separated out into categories or if it's just gonna be paragraphs of me writing about them. I have no idea, but I will let you guys know what it ends up looking like Hey guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember what I told you I was going to be doing in this time. But I cleaned my room, I did my reading for my class today, which I have at 3.30, so that's good, I needed to do that. And now I'm gonna start working on the binder stuff that I wanted to work on today, so this editing vlog can actually have some type of writing or editing in it, you know? It's kind of the goal with all of these 
even though sometimes there's less editing than I want to be done. My plan as of right now is to set a timer, which if you watch my videos, you know I have a love-hate relationship with timers. Sometimes they work for me, sometimes they don't. But very similar to my poem in a day kind of thing, that's sort of what I'm gonna do for every character. So I'm gonna set a timer and write for a little bit. And if you wanna see the poem for a day video, I will link that in the description box down below. I had a lot of fun doing that and I think I might do something like that again, maybe next month. I think I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes each character just to get started and you know, get the, I always wanna say get the juices flowing and then I realize how disgusting that sounds and I, then I don't wanna say it, but I don't have a better phrase to get the, I don't know. Someone come up with a phrase and give it to me so I can use it and stop saying get the juices flowing because nobody should say that ever. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible phrase. I digress. <laughs> I'm gonna set a 15 minute timer to just kind of jump into it and see what I get done. I think I'm just gonna take out a blank piece of paper. I think I might even use a white piece of paper unlined, which I'm a big fan of lines because if I don't have any lines to guide my writing, then I just write all over the page like a crazy person. But I kind of think that's what I want to happen today, to be all over the page like a crazy person. I might do a couple of mind maps with the characters. I don't know. I'll let you know what I do end up doing. But I think it's going to be a learning process for today. Guys the downfall to my productivity today is going to be the fact that i just found out there is a new season of the great british bake show on netflix and i need to watch it i can't just not watch it right i can not watch it i'm gonna work on that on not watching it considering i'm already on episode three but i did do one of the little sheets things for one of my characters that I wanted to do. And at this point, it turned out to be a mind map. I made a mind map, basically. And it was actually really fun. So this is for one of my characters. Ira is her name. It's spelled E-I-R-A, in case you're curious. And my bigger branches off of her name was her hair, because it's very detailed and semi-important in the story. Her family, her weapon, her role in her society, kind of. Her relationships that she forms with the other people on the trip, and then her physical appearance. And it was really fun to do it, just to brainstorm and like mind dump all of the things that I could think of for her. I had a really fun time making these. And I think today, at least, I'm gonna make more mind maps for every main character. Well, for the six main characters of this book. There are other smaller characters that I wouldn't mind doing maybe like a half sheet of paper for their own mind maps. Characters that are gonna be more important in the second book or that had an important but smaller role. I definitely think that the mind map is something that I'm going to use if I put it in the binder, that it's really helpful. I'm kind of obsessed with these now, and I think I'm gonna make them for all of the main characters today, and then later, hopefully, make them for those smaller characters that I just mentioned. Um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Right now, I kind of do these as a day in the life vlog sort of editing days, and I take you along one of my editing days every week but would you guys like it more if i did it over the course of a couple days and just told you about the editing or the writing work that i'm getting done and not give you all of the other things that i have to get done if that makes any sense if you've watched these videos you know like i'll tell you if i have to do laundry or clean my room but i could also do these where it will span a couple of days and I won't tell you all of those other mundane things. I'll just tell you about the writing 
and the editing that I'm doing. So please comment down below which one you would prefer or if there's a different style of editing vlog that you prefer. I really do love making these for you guys and talking to you guys. I love seeing your comments down below and just sharing, you know, what I do during the day and the struggles that I have while I'm writing or editing, the different ideas that I have while I'm writing and editing. It's kind of like a video diary for myself once a week. So I love doing them. I would like to continue doing some form of them. Um, and I would really love your feedback. So please leave that in the comments down below. I will definitely read your comments and take those into consideration for next week's writing vlog. But at this point, I have a little under a half hour before I have to go to my class. So I'm going to try to do another mind map for one of the other main characters. I have six main characters, 15 minutes per mind map. That's an hour and a half, which is not bad. So I'm gonna try to do one more, but then I'm gonna go to class and I will pick this up when I get back and we'll finish off doing all six of the mind map. Hey guys, so I'm back from my class. I had dinner, I did a little bit of my homework for tomorrow and I've been working on my mind maps, which I'm really loving. I don't think I'm gonna get to the whole writing out different pitches for Valor, which is something that I wanna do, so I'll probably do it tomorrow or later in the week, but I'm kind of digging the mind map thing, so I think I'm gonna finish those tonight and really go in depth. Um, the next one that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I do with it. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, obviously, because that would be spoilers. But I'm going to show you a little bit about one of my favorite characters in the novel, Fel. He just pulls at my heartstrings. I don't know. I love him. He's like a big teddy bear. And I'm going to show you a little bit of his mind map and how I start it, how, how I would fill it out, and all that jazz. Um, if you want a separate video about mind mapping, I can do that. There are tons of videos on YouTube if you want to look it up. It's the same sort of process that you would use if you were using it to study or something like that. A lot of people use it for note taking, but this is just a great way I've found for me now and in the past to get my ideas out in a semi-cohesive way and make connections even that I didn't see before because when you have it all laid out in this web you can start drawing these arrows that connect things to different parts of the web and I just have always found some really good inspiration from doing mind maps. So if you want a video, I can make a video for you. I don't know that it would be very long or very interesting, but I'm totally willing to make it if it's something that you guys want to watch. So please let me know and I will put that in my video schedule. But right now I'm going to show you the beginning of Fel's mind map and then I'm going to finish Fel's mind map and I'll probably end up wrapping up this vlog. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you kind of an exaggerated version of how I would start one of these. I'm holding the paper the long way up top. I don't know if that makes any sense, but so that I would be able to see it clearly when I put it in my binder and I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit, but I will show you exactly what I would do. First, I would write the character's name in the middle of the page, Fell. This is my main character, and then what I've been doing for them, at least today, is putting some main categories around their name and then filling in details. So I'm gonna show you what my main categories would be, and then I'm going to show you some of the details for one of them. I don't wanna get too spoilery here. So these here are my six things that I have written down for Fell, and I have family, weapon, physical, relationships, creations, and role. Now these are all things that I would have stuff to write about, specifically for Fel that is relevant to him and his character. And once you have those things written out, I like to write them out first. Then what you would do is draw arrows from your main subject to all of your side subjects and connect them all. And then what you would do I'm going to show you specifically with the role category for Fel because I've already showed you a little bit about his character. So, 
fell is a blacksmith by trade. That's what he does. He also serves his king, helping with meetings and things like that with other ruling people in their society. And he also, as another big role, as another big role, he is also his friend Eric's protector. So those are his three big roles within valor and within the society. And then what I would do is build off of all three of these roles and give more arrows and more descriptions as to what specifically he does in this book to cover those roles and what's really important and relevant to the plot of Valor. So you guys got a little sneak peek into Valor and one of my characters fell, also how I do my mind mapping in the general sense of the word. I think I'm gonna wrap up this editing vlog here. Please leave in the comments down below whether or not you would like the editing vlogs to span more than one day and be just about my editing, or if you like this style of doing kind of a day in the life of an editor while I'm editing my first novel. Please let me know down below because I would love to do what you guys want to watch. Um, I'm fine with either one. I do really want to make these editing vlogs so that you can follow along on my journey. Kind of as a visual diary of sorts for Valor. But I'm more than willing to be flexible on how this visual diary takes form especially if there's something that you guys want me to do that i'm not doing please leave it in the comments down below suggestions are always welcome i post writing and reading related videos every monday wednesday and friday on this channel so please subscribe if you want to see more from me i would love to have you here in my little creative writing community and i will see you guys next week bye